oh. Yeah, they be like, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's serious. Oh, he's serious. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, because my dad, you know, he always said that, like, if you do not discipline your children, then, you know, you don't want them to get older and the police do it. Because they'll kill them. They you know, have you, have you spanked your children? They're not about to play with uh, nobody's yeah. kids. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Like a so, real spanking, describe your spanking. Is, oh, is it with a belt or is it a pop? You know, haven't people... pull, I haven't pulled what got used on me, which was a wooden spoon. Um, oh. But, oh, oh, yeah, no, old school Italian family. Oh, yeah, <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, no, but they've gotten spanked for, okay. sure, for damn sure. Okay. And they, like, get it together after that? Like, uh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not just multiple. See, I was a multiple spanker. Or, excuse me. Not my ass beater. <laughs> well, I mean, and then there's a Recipient. difference. Like, you know, <laughs> there's a difference. I mean, you know, the things you hate as children, you know, right. like naps and spanking are the things you grow to love as an adult. Okay. <laughs> right. Hey! Spanking. We like to get spankers now. Let's get a spanking. Oh, Let's take like a nap spanking. after that. <laughs> right. Oh, nap, time. That nap. <laughs> <laughs> nap time. Nap oh, time. Um, that's funny. Nice. Where wow. are we at on time? Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we got a few more minutes. Yeah. Got about yeah. what? I'm enjoying myself. Perfect. Yeah. So long-term goals. Yeah. Long-term goals. Uh, ultimately, you know, I would like to be directing and producing my own movies. Um, and Wonderful. Starting in. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, you have lofty dreams, but lofty goals. Mm-hmm. But, like, I don't put any limits. Those are haters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> they come in all shapes and forms, ass. though. They come in so many forms. So, I mean, like. could be family, friends, yeah, oh, all that. Mm-hmm. Again, the season that I'm in. It's just me. I'm isolated. Amen. You know, um, obviously I have those that I could communicate with from time to time, but mm-hmm. it's just me right now because I know again this is a transitional place where, in order for me to get to that that place where I want to be, I got to be isolated for a second. So mm-hmm. that's where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Um, fortunately, I'm in a season also of residual. So a lot of the movies and things that I've done are coming out now. So I really don't got to do anything right now. Hey. So I can sit back. You know, because I probably have done in the last three years a little bit over 20 movies. All right. You know oh, what I'm saying? Wow. So, yeah, like okay. I've been Big grinding. Time. Nah. I'm, yeah, we're I'm proud still of you. something. I'm still working. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish it was like that soon, but yeah, no, nah, it ain't like that right now. You That's know. what's nice. up. That's a good look. We're definitely proud of you. Thank you. Absolutely. You know, and all of your accomplishments. I appreciate that. Yes. So all glory to God for sure. Absolutely. Yes. Continuous blessing. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Chris? Mm. How would you, um, like, what would be your words of wisdom to, you know, people that want to break into the the movie industry? Okay. Um, for any, like, you know, new artist or individual that, like, had his bug, whether you come from uh, another art, dancing, because I mm-hmm. know a lot of people that come from, like, dancing or singing mm-hmm. or yeah. modeling mm-hmm. that want to get into it. Mm-hmm. Right. I will just say, you know, make sure that this is really something that you want to do, because Everybody feels like, you know, well, I can get in front of a camera and just read some lines, but it's really more than that. You know, you got to embody the actual character, character mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. This is a living, you have to think of it in, in, in terms of this is a living being, right? Mm-hmm. Um, not just someone fictional that somebody thought of, or it may have been real, but you, you're you depicting their life. So you got to make it authentic, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, just make it authentic. Make it real. Um, allow yourself to s- and study you know, don't just, oh, you know, I'm going to go watch some YouTube videos because that's the generation we live in now. Right. Everybody you can like, oh, be a millionaire my... off some YouTube, though. I, no, you can. I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about, like, trying to act. watch. Yeah, it's trying to act. Okay. Like, you go and watch a few videos and you feel like, oh, I, nah, I can do this. No, nah, you got to really put some time in because I've, I've been paid my dues. You right. know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I'm still paying dues. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think in this art, you never really reach that ceiling. You know, there's always room to grow. And expand if you really love the art. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. But I, I really feel like directing is my true calling. You know. Yeah. What's form. What's the business? I know it's hitter something. Oh, it's a uh, designated hitters there you production. Go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. And At I, designated hitters. And production. I know you want to do like a family matters like yeah, spinoff, which is yeah, funny yeah, yeah, because yeah. I was just telling my son. You know, he watches, you know, have almost 40-year-old year parents. <laughs> you know, we ended that stuff like, watch this. And he loves yeah. some Steve Urkel. And oh, that's dope. So, yeah. How, yeah. how, how, how will we do that? Because I'm in. Join okay. me in. Well, um, the first thing first is just, you know, getting like-minded individuals mm-hmm. together. So, you know, directors and, and writers um, and actors and producers um, who collectively, you know, just have like minds. So, you know, I took 
the DMs that I got, and I, you know, I actually. So people were actually yeah, responding. Yeah, people was like sure. hitting me up for sure. Like, yo, let's do this. I want clean. Do this. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, because you got to clean think, comedy. It this that's shit exactly is totally what it was. different right now. This is not. I mean, reality TV rules right now, right? Yeah. So unless you watch, you binge watching something on on Netflix, mm-hmm. right, or Amazon, mm-hmm. um, TV is all reality TV now. Mm-hmm. So to bring something to to develop something that will pull on that whole 90s vibe that these black sitcoms gave us right it was like even a different world like a different world was something that was phenomenal right Mm -hmm. because it changed the idea exactly black people can go to college they can fall in love they can yes be doctors absolutely yeah it was Mm -hmm. that was phenomenal Mm -hmm. so i think that we're in that that era now where that needs to be redeveloped recultivated you know for the culture so but how do you walk that fine line like i my head exploded today Mm -hmm. when somebody posted like hey and they tagged me in it they were like dave (laughs) They're talking about rebooting New Jack City. I heard about that. I, I heard about I, that. I, that. I, like, I, I want Al Qaeda to win. <laughs> like, it, like, <laughs> like when you, when you start, like, oh, no. Man. Like, no. Oh, no. Man, like, leave man. Nino Brown the, the hell alone. Right. Like, what? Like, because yeah, like, there's a very saying. fine line between, like, playing to the nostalgia cultural. crowd right. and trying. Because, you know, like, uh, what was it? Uh, like, The Dark Crystal. Right. You know, just did that new series on Netflix, which right. was great, but they did it the right way. They mm-hmm. left the original alone and mm-hmm. said, hey, we're going off and doing our own thing. Right. Just using the idea. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I get what you're saying. Um, you know, don't mess with something so iconic. Absolutely. Right. right. Um, but the, where we are right now in film and television, reboots are big money. Yeah, well, yeah, because nobody has anybody ri- any original ideas and whatsoever. That's exactly what's going on in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, we have a lot of, there are some that branch off, right, but Hollywood is looking for the familiar yep. right now, you know, right? Those things that already have brought in millions and millions of dollars. Well, but how many of them have to fail before that finally? Because, um, like, I look at, like, dude, like, Footloose. Yeah. Dude, Footloose was, like, one of the defining <laughs> the re- movies of the it, 80s. It really was. One and the remake, as a young person. oh, yeah, and the remake that's was in the theaters for, what, 12 yeah. seconds? <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't. T- I watched a few minutes of the reboot, and I was like, "Ah, this is not it." Yeah, you know what I mean. So I get it. I get it for sure. Um, I would just say this. Um, again, there's room for new writers, and and I'll space specifically Detroit. Now we have so many phenomenal writers here. Um, that with the proper opportunity, will. Bus Hollywood completely open. Absolutely. Oh, wow. So, and that was I mean, the next thing I was going to tap yeah. into is so, like, we were here uh, about a week and a half ago when the Detroit She Town Film Festival mm-hmm. was here. They had their opening night party here uh, two weeks ago, Thursday. Right. And talking with that crew, and they weren't all from Detroit. Like, a lot of them were, you know, from out of state or out of country even. Um, but the vast majority of them were local. And, you know, listening to them talk about how like the struggle now right. to, to get things done. Like, you know, there were all, the, there was all this hope and everything when, you know, all the film incentives happened and, you know, and studios got built out and life was great. And then all that got ripped away, but there's still this talent that's here. That's hanging on still doing great stuff, mm-hmm. but not, not really, really getting recognized mm-hmm. for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that that is uh, probably one of the biggest things that we deal with as artists here acting in the, in, in the acting industry specifically is that you know we have so much talent right the new the i feel like to me personally the acting industry is the new automotive industry mm-hmm. and detroit is still that fertile soil um that produces and cultivates talented people what about Atlanta? Because a lot of Atlanta people are is doing dope. Like okay. Atlanta is really pop, and, I, and Atlanta is really well. They're killing it with right. the film industry right now yeah. because right. of all the incentives exactly. still in place. Right. Yeah. And, and then uh, the, the production studios, mm-hmm. everybody's doing new development. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so there's so many opportunities there in Atlanta, especially for Black people. Absolutely. Well, okay. <clears throat> um, but again, Detroit itself specifically has so much talent, um, whether it be actors, directors, uh, producers, writers. You know. Um, um, editors so much talent we just have to get in a place to where collectively if if we could like brand together that's what i was about to say is there like a collective space 
that, hey, let's make this into a production studio. Mm -hmm. Let's get our writers over here. Let's get our actors over here. These are our costume designers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These are the people that are going to invest this project. It's, like, it's, how do you have, get we that? We have the resources, to be honest with you, but I think, you know, everybody knows how Detroit is. The crab in the barrel. Yeah, you know, See, that's not a figment. Mm -hmm. That's not a That's not a fairy tale type of I thing. I think I need to do a t-shirt like that. No, yeah, we've, we've talked about this. Yeah, I, yeah, I know I brought thing. this up on the yeah, show absolutely. before. Absolutely. Where, absolutely. You, get, you know, Detroit is, like, because, like, you just compared it to the automotive mm -hmm. industry. Yeah. I would is it more comparable to the music industry? Mm. Where okay, you can climb to a certain point. And that's it. But then right. if you really want to get somewhere, yeah. you're gonna have to go. Yeah, that's most definitely. Crazy. And and to be completely honest with you, that's exactly how it is. Um, and even and with fashion, I know what it, it is. It is most yeah. definitely. I felt like um, years ago, like yo, I got to get out of here. But I have so many of my peers um, who feel like no, we can do it here. And I, I at this point, I'm like you know, I feel like. Both can be done. Mm -hmm. It just—it's going to take a lot more sacrifice mm -hmm. to do it here specifically Absolutely. because the audience is not here per se, mm -hmm. right? Um, right. The industry has already been established eons ago in other cities, right? Right. Okay. Um, which, how can you compete with that? Fortunately enough, we have the digital age, you know, where people can, you know, put their 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 um, movies and stuff on these platforms that are broadcasted all over. I have people from all over the world that reach out to me now like i had no idea that that was even possible mm -hmm. be because of my performance in these movies mm -hmm. you know so the reach is worldwide it's global um we just gotta you know collectively come you know get together a little bit more and i think that um we'll be able to produce like at L la in Atlanta at some right. point but it's right. going to take time and it may take somebody to go away and come back absolutely you know I mean? mm -hmm. but how many people actually come back and that's the sad part well I well, mean, you look at like like Detroit depends. Homecoming is coming up mm -hmm. I think what a week or two mm -hmm. um, and that's like you know when all like they do this whole thing where like everybody that was from here and went and made it elsewhere mm -hmm. right. comes back and you see a lot a lot of pitching happen. Like, I've never hey, even heard of that. oh, Detroit Homecoming. Okay. Oh, look it up. It's okay. it's a thing. Um, and so, where thing. is it? Yeah. Uh, it yeah, they did it at the. I want to say they did like the big event was at the train station okay. last year. Okay. Um, they've done it. Uh, it's it's an annual thing. Um, and, and it's like that. That's part of it. Is okay. Look, you were here in Detroit, what you gonna and do you moved back? away. Right. Let's bring you back mm -hmm. and take a look at where things are now. Okay. How can you get and and, and almost and it is. You, I mean you, and it's one of those things where like you hear a lot of the lip service, like oh my of god, course. you know things are so much better. Da da da. da yeah yeah yeah. Well, I want to get involved. What have you actually done? What seat uh, have okay. You left? Then are you are you going to give that same speech next year? Right. When when you're when you're back again and, and nothing has changed in the past. So I mean, but it but it is. I mean, at least there are people out there that are like you know reaching and pulling and. I don't know, blackmailing and whatever, you know, getting, getting all those <laughs> people back here, here. Right. you right. know, to, to, yeah. to at least make those conversations happen. Because, I mean, it is. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's like us. I mean, it, even on our, like, little microcosm of stuff. Like, you know, we, like, our main studios are in Royal Oak. Mm. Why? Red carpet versus red tape. Mm. Mm. Damn. You know, and that's and that's. I love this studio. And that's and that's part of it. Well, it's like you know, we had we had a studio in the Penobscot building. We had a studio, you know, in Southwest. We looked at trying to build out another studio downtown, um, before either of those two happened. And it it literally like we wanted our main studios down here, and it was red carpet versus red mm. tape. You know, it was here's all the bureaucracy. Like, look where we're sitting right now. This was supposed to be a one year project. This whole container plaza, mm. triple, triple Period. time, triple budget. Because of roadblocks and red tape and bureaucracy and all that other kind of stuff, like some of some of that's got to change. Well, no, all of that has to change. Has to change, yeah. yeah. You know, for more than your last name is Illich, absolutely. Your last name is Gilbert. Mm -hmm. You're like, you know, like that's that's got to shift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Funny. Wow. It does, I, wow. and I agree a hundred thousand percent. It has to. The idea of that thing. Right, whatever that may be, it always has to shift. It always has to change in order for growth to happen. But I mean, it has to come from a collective group of people. You know, one person's idea is just an idea until it's you know influenced by the masses. Okay. You know. Well, whatever closet conversations can do, closet with a K, conversations with a K, ending with a Z. Yeah. To bring this initiative together, we are calling all of our artistic people, actors, writers, producers. Yes. Uh, filmmakers, 
costume designers, reach out to Mr. Damaris Harvey. Let's get together. Damaris Harvey. Okay. Yeah, let's make it happen. Yes, let's, yes. Let's, let's, do, let's be great. Please. Right. The, the we have the potential. Here. It's here. Most definitely. I hate saying potential. No, we, we have We are it. great. We are. Let's sure. just start acting like it. Yeah, right. we, we are for sure. I mean, I love, I love the acting community as a whole, right? Even the idea of it because there's so many gifted individuals here. It just makes no sense. Mm -hmm. um, but we got we to gotta take it to the next level. And the only way to really do that is to come together. Come yeah. together. Yeah, definitely you know? stick together. Come together. We combine, love that. Combine as one. Okay, nice, that. nice. We love that. Well, um, shout out your Instagram. Um, Instagram and all of your, you know, information, how okay. people can contact you for bookings or anything like that. All right, well, yeah, um, my Instagram is my first and last name, at Demaris Harvey. That's Spell it. D-E-M-A-R-I-S-H-A-R-V-E-Y, right? Okay. That's my Instagram. Um, you can follow me on there. Uh, if you want to book me for anything, whether it's hosting or uh, you want to talk to me about movies, um, you can check me out. Get my email. It's uh, ddub1220 at gmail.com um, for all contact information. And, um, yeah, I got a couple uh, more premieres coming out. Again, that's First Lady 2, um, Neon Detroit Nights. The Users will be coming out. And then Bad Girls um, will be coming out the 1st of um, 2020. So, yeah, yeah, be on the lookout for that as well. Love nice, it. Nice, yeah. nice. Shout out to our sponsor, C. Harvey Construction and Management. C. Harvey Construction we and Management. We got the Harveys Harvey all everywhere. Yeah. Management. Okay. That Harvey name is strong, oh, too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Warrior. So, yes. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yes. I'll have to connect you two. Yeah. Right. Sure. Absolutely. Right, right. Appreciate Any you, Any closing words? No, I mean, it's been a great show. I you agree. Know, one person. This is like our first, like, one yeah. person hook Right, in a long day. time. It's been a long, a long time. It has, yeah. Dave right. always says you need one or maybe two. And yeah. I think that we've accomplished yeah. what we needed to. Right, yeah. Because we were really able to kind of go in depth and, Absolutely. like, you know, just kind of focus on him. Every now and then, I know what I'm talking about. You That's why we do. <laughs> this is why we love you, Dave. Yes, we love you, Dave. This is our Howard Stern, is what I said. Oh, yeah. You get, you I get mean, how the chemistry he just is great. No, this, yeah, the this is the boo right here. <laughs> <laughs> he comes through. Right. <laughs> yes, yes. If somebody else has an engineer, we're like, uh, where's that? <laughs> that, 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 that oh, we're gonna cancel. Hey. <laughs> we're gonna go eat tacos instead. Oh, right. Shout out to Bakersfield. Oh, yeah, it's so great. I know, right? If I can just get my daddy to. Watch right. the baby for a few more yeah. minutes. All right. Well, in closing, thank you for listening. And we are Closet, Closet Conversations. Conversations. Was that it? You go